100,000 displaced people are living in Pukul Camp near Bongi Airport. Forced out of their homes by the violence that is rife in the city, the security they find here is only relative. On January 2nd, shooting at the airport led to the death of two children. That day, MSF, the only medical organization in the camp, treated 40 wounded. But the endemic insecurity compelled MSF to cut back its activities for several days. When they returned to the camp, the teams launched a campaign to vaccinate 68,000 children against measles. At the clinic, 500 people attend for consultations daily. We're doing our best, but we're overwhelmed. We can't manage on our own. We've got to have more help. Where is everyone? I don't get it. We're right here next to the airport. It's not like they don't know. Everyone knows they're here. This is the capital city. Another team is working at Bongi's community hospital. They arrived in September only to see the situation rapidly deteriorate at the beginning of December. We were expecting a dozen or so patients a day. On the 5th of December, we received 120 wounded, another 80 the following day, 60 the next. 30 casualties on average, then it would calm down for a few days before erupting again. It was like that throughout the month of December. The beginning of January is looking calmer, but we can't be sure of anything. Patients arrive here with machete and stab wounds, sometimes even wounds from torture. MSF calls on all parties to end violence against civilians, patients and medical personnel in Central African Republic.